What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be talking about the best SAT August 2022 tips so that you can get 800 perfect score on the August SAT. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, August SAT marks the new cycle of the SAT season, right? 2022 to 2023. And this season of SATs, you know, it's a new season, right? So the new problems, new everything. So do not expect the same things to repeat themselves. And that is my first tip that there is a new SAT cycle now, so expect new SAT problems. And now what I mean by this is, you see, over the past year, you'll get the same sort of problems, same sort of like a wording, but maybe different numbers, maybe different characters. Now, the problems themselves are gonna be much different. So, you know, if you've been studying the past exams, then you don't want to think that, all right, I'm gonna get the exact same problem on, you know, an SAT, I'll take this, you know, SAT season, because that's just not how it works. But the good thing is that these problems have the same patterns, right? And finding these patterns, like for example, linear equations, it has the same SAT matrix, right? Uh, quadratic problems have the same SAT matrix applying to them as they, you know, as the tricks that I applied to them a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, when I took the SAT, which is like four years ago, right? It's all the same stuff. It does not matter, right? The tricks are the same. And if you don't know your ST matrix, then be sure to check out my ST math course. Use code FIRST100 for 25% off. But learn these tricks, learn these patterns. Same thing for ST read, it's the same pattern. Inference questions, you only wanna use information given in the passage to answer the question. Don't assume anything outside the box, right? These tricks are evergreen, I meaning they last forever. So if they apply to SAT two years ago, they will apply to the same SAT now. And to familiarize yourself with these tricks, yes, you can watch my course, but you can also look through SAT exams, right? because by looking through old ST exams, you can see the patterns, you can see the repetition in these problems and better understand how to like, you know, approach these problems and get a high score on these problems. Now my second tip, and this tip is very important. This will probably improve your score the most, at least like 200 points if you actually practice it. Listen to what I say, and that is to study ST math and English every single day, or at the worst, do ST math one day, ST English the other day, right? The reason being, you want to improve both sections at the same time, right? You want to make yourself strong in both sections. You don't want to just do ST math and neglect ST reading, because if you do that, you're going to suck at ST reading, right? Like most of people watching this video will probably already suck at ST reading, and they're probably better at SAT math. So why not improve both? So let's say you're at a 700 for math and a 600 for reading, you get an 800 for math and you get like a 750 for reading, right? And that way you have like at least a 1500 on the ST exam which will literally set you up for amazing success when it comes to college application season. When you're studying for ST math, I want you to emphasize your, your learning on the non-calc section. Because the non-calc section is where all the tricks are for the ST math section, right? I talk about it in my course, I talk about it in my videos. That is where you can literally finish the entire ST math non-calc exam in like 10 minutes or five minutes if you learn all the tricks, right? You get 25 minutes, you can finish it in like 20% of the time, which is amazing. And if you understand the ST math non-calc section to that degree, the ST calc section will be that much easier. That is why just focus on ST non-calc and the ST calc will automatically open up and see much easier as you, you know, study and as you practice more. Now for ST reading, I want you to emphasize yourself on ST writing, right? Because the writing part of the ST reading exam is much easier and much more easier to improve your score on than the ST comprehension section because Let's face it, the comprehension section, we all get beat by it, right? We all are probably not the best at it. We all probably kind of suck at it, right? But ST writing, like personally, when I first took ST writing section, uh, I got 31 out of 44 on my first ever ST practice exam for the writing part, right? That sucks. A 31 out of 44, that is at least like minus 120, 150 points. And I was, you know, I was like, man, this is, this is really bad. And I was never the strong reading student nor the strong writing student, but, I found that SC writing, right, if you practice on Khan Academy, if you learn the grammar rules, it's an easy section. It's a very easy section, actually, that if you just follow some, you know, a couple of tricks here and there, a couple of tips here and there, you can improve your 31 out of 44 to at least like a 38, a 40 out of 44. And the goal should be to get at least a 40 out of 44. If you're doing that, then even if you get like a little extra questions wrong, then you should be on the comprehension section, you can still get at least a 700 SC writing, uh, SC reading uh, test slash section, which is an amazing score because if you're able to get over 700 math and a 700 reading, you're already about 1400, but you're also might be putting yourself in a position where you might get a 1500. And that way you'll be in the top nine, nine percentile of scorers, which literally like you are a goat, or you're the beast, right? You'll probably gain whatever college you want to when it comes to academics. Now my third tip, and this tip is very important because this will literally let you know if you're studying correctly. And that is to track your improvement, okay? 
in some sort of way you want to gauge how well you're doing every single week are you improving are you doing better in the st math section are you better as the reading section and now i know a lot of students what they do is they're like you know what? i feel better i feel like i'm answering all the math questions correctly i feel like i understand more which is a great i'm glad if you feel that way but you have to understand every st exam has a different curve right practice tests have different curves so while this practice exam you might get more questions correct you still might get a lower score if the curve is more harsh right that's why what i want you to do is you need to somehow like score yourself actually find what you got on the math part actually find what you got on the reading part like actually video, find what share, you got on the entire please. exam on the entire practice exam or the entire uh, real st exam right you want to know your score because the only way you can improve is by knowing your score finding your weaknesses and then working on that and seeing if you improve because if you're not improving or even worse if you're downtrending then there's obviously something wrong and you want to address it because if you don't track your improvement and you're downtrending literally by the time st comes you're gonna go from like a 1400 to like a one or like a two which is horrible you're gonna literally fill the sat actually probably like a 200 which, which is what you get when you write your name automatic 200 points and you get everything else wrong so don't be in a downtrend all right you don't want to be a failure you don't want to be you don't want to suck at the sat so please track your improvement every single week and make sure that you are improving because that is the biggest thing about this and now your last tip and this should be kind of obvious and if you are watching this video you are already in fact implementing this trick so good job for you and that is to check out sat youtube okay youtube is a free source right uh, khan academy is a free source my videos on youtube are free sources that you can use to you know understand sd a little bit more understand some of the sd math tricks understand some sd reading tricks learn how to annotate learn key skills that you can use to improve your sat score now you guys will be like whoa well, you but you have a whole course you're right i do have a course and that's for people who are willing to spend money on understanding you know match the sd math section now you can obviously do that through my youtube videos my course is only six hours my videos might be much much longer so it all depends on you but just know that there are free resources out there right i spent zero dollars you know when i studied for the sat so also i was broke so you know anyways what i'm saying point of the matter is guys is use sat youtube watch the videos don't be lazy all right there's people who took the sat people like me we've been through it we know the ins and outs we we mastered it all we probably get 1600 to try it again Actually, the comprehension section might still whoop my butt, which is why I always say focus on non-calc and then and then writing and then calc and then lastly comprehension because that comprehension section just whoops people's butts, including mine. Regardless, we are still pretty good at SAT. We can definitely get at least a 1500. So watch the videos, learn from us, and hopefully you guys will get the score you want on the ST. Thank you all for watching. Check out my course. Description, link in the description below. Peace out. Peace out. Peace.